Hello again, this is Falkas with a small tutorial about managing your data transfer cartridge using Weapon Delivery Planner. As you might know, the data transfer cartridge is a real tool that the F16 is uses. It consists of a piece of software and a cassette. The software is uh, actually programming the cassette and the programming of the cassette is being done way before you fly, actually pre-flight. The cassette is then taken with the pilot to the cockpit and inserted uh, on the right hand side of the cockpit and after the aircraft has started the engine this data transfer cartridge is actually loaded into the mission computer and after that you'll have all the pre-settings that you need for the mission inside. So Weapon Delivery Planner has uh, almost the same software setup as in real life to manage this uh, data transfer cartridge as you can see here, it contains of 10 different sections, so this will also be a 10 part tutorial. And for this first tutorial, we'll start with the main tab. The main tab will just help you to navigate the most important files for the data transfer cartridge. Most of these files are completely handled automatically, you don't need to worry about them at all. To start off, here on the top you see the pilot name and of course in my case it's callsign Falcas. After installation of Weapon Delivery Planner you might have noticed that it will ask your callsign that you give it in. There is a file that has a relation with your callsign so the callsign needs to be typed in correctly or else Weapon Delivery Planner will not be able to find this file. If you want to change this file name just go ahead, you can change it here and then use accept and Weapon Delivery Planner will do the rest. The next thing is the data transfer cartridge ID. This is just gone out of date as BMS changed the information on the MFD screens where it will actually show the files that it will load or had loaded before. So this is just gone out of date. The next box will actually show you the location where Weapon Delivery Planner has found your Falcon installation. Did Weapon Delivery Planner not find your installation or you want to use Weapon Delivery Planner over a network? You can change it here. You only have to browse to your Falcon directly. As I said before, this can be done over a network and you should point to the launcher.exe file. By opening this file Weapon Delivery Planner will know where the whole installation is and can then open and look into all the files that Weapon Delivery Planner will need. The same is for the theater definition file. You have to point to the correct location. This location in the in your install can be found in the Falcon BMS directory, subdirectory data, subdirectory teardata, subdirectory theater definition. And there you will find a file, it's called theater.lst and this file contains all the locations for the theaters that you have installed in BMS. That's basically all the settings Weapon Reliever needs to know about your Fal Falcon installation and the rest will be done completely automatic. The data transfer cartridge contains of two files the first file is actually called the callsign.ini file and it's called that because it has the same name as your callsign, in my case Falcas, and an extension of .ini. This callsign.ini file has all the system data that are used for the F-16 stored inside and to an addition to that for if you are flying a campaign it also stores the steer point, the lines and the pre-planned threads. If you want to load a different callsign.ini just have a look inside and do some change if you want. You can just use the get callsign.ini file and if you want to save it in between you can also save the callsign.ini file. Labels will show if this file has been loaded and you can also see the location where Weapon Delivery Planner has found your callsign.ini. You might see here 
the location uh, where you can find your call sign.inis is in your Falcon installation directory, subdirectory user, subdirectory config, and there you find your call sign.ini together with a lot of other files. The second file that the data cartridge is using is called the mission.ini file. And this file actually contains the steer points, the lines and the pre-planned threads for if you are flying a tactile engagement. It is very handy to swap this file with fellow pilots that you're going to fly the same mission during a multiplayer setup because then everybody has the same threads and lines and pre-planned threads um, as everybody else. So there's only one person that needs to set the pre-planned threads. You can swap the file and then it gets loaded when you are entering the mission. If you want to look at a certain file, just see what is inside. You can always open the file and you have to navigate to the location where this these files are stored. They are stored in the same directory as all the missions are saved actually. So you go to your Falcon install directory, sub directory data and then it depends on which theater you're gonna fly and for the default Korea theater you have to go to the sub directory campaign and here you see all the different theaters for Korea and the default theater is stored in the save directory. Here you find a lot of files and the files with an ini extension actually are files that are being used as a data cartridge. For example here the KSON strike ini I can just open it and you will see that the data has been loaded and the location of the file has been shown. You can also save the mission file from this location as well as other locations throughout the whole program. But that will show you in the second part of this tutorial.